Hi everyone, welcome to Wagger's uh, DIY van mount part 6. Uh, here, what we're doing now is fitting the flow controller. It's an Osmo Works one. Um, it was kindly donated to us by Erwin Sorensen. We give him great thanks. He also donated the pump. We're, we're very, very lucky people. Um, we've actually glued that on there. It's not going anywhere. It's firm as anything. Um, the wires come out the back here. Now, what we've done is we put an inline fuse here. That's very important. That should go between your battery and the live connection to the flow controller. I'm not going to tell you about all the wires here because uh, they might vary a little bit, flow controllers, but uh, the instructions you'll get with them are very, very clear. Um, no doubt about it. If you've got any doubts whatsoever, don't do what I did and just go ahead like a bull in china shop because I fried the thing. I had to repair it. I feel um, a bit guilty about that. I'm sorry, Owen. But now we've got it back. It's all ready. It's up and running. Um, there's the instructions. They're very, very clear. Uh, what we're going to do is mount this board, the control board, back onto the tank where it was before. And then we're going to calibrate it. It's... Um, don't be scared of that, there's nothing to it really. Um, I think my son will do that though because he's good with buttons and we'll calibrate it to our system. And uh, the switch you see here, uh, that was required when we didn't have flow controller to switch the pump on and off. But of course it was going full belt. Now this flow controller should act as a switch and switch the pump in and out when we um, either kink the pipe uh, at the end uh, of the brush or we have a, a, a tap of course and that should hopefully um, switch the water on and off and take the strain off the pump which will be absolutely fantastic um, so that's really about it that's all I can think of at the moment um, you need all the connections of course you can buy in see them there and all the tools get all those ready first and if you're not sure about anything at all, just ask somebody that knows. It's best to because it can be an expensive business and very disappointing if you make a mistake. Uh, thanks goes to uh, Lee at Blade Wright for supplying us with the battery and the hose reel. Uh, we thank uh, Lee Burbage and Perry Tate for giving us the inspiration to start this project in the first place. And Richard Everingham at Jet Systems for giving us lots of encouragement and putting us on to um, Ian Shepherd uh, that helped us to repair the flow controller. So there you go, we all make mistakes, but there you go, it's up and running now. Fantastic, all I need to do is mount that board back onto the tank and we're away. It works fine though, the system. As you've seen, we did the, the big unit on Friday. But now with the flow controller, we'll have a lot more control soon and uh, we'll be getting an aqua tap on the pole so we'll be able to demonstrate all that for you as well so for now that's job done